So here you can see that I got a photo of a person. And on the left side, you can see that after uh, the cutout and mask tool, there's the liquify tool right here. So if I were to click on liquify, then here you can see that there's different options on the top. So what liquify essentially does is you can click and drag around right here. And then you can see that I can drag around the pixels as if it was a bunch of liquid. So I can go around right here. I can enlarge it out. So I can go around and then let's say, for example, work around with the size. And maybe I'm going to click here and that enlarges her eyes, as you can see right there. I can work around with the push. So let me just increase out the size. And then I can push out the nose right here, pull it down or push it out just like this, as you can see. And then over here, you can also shrink out. So I'm just going to shrink out her nose right here, just like this by clicking a bit. You can also uh, click out right here to make intense themes as well. But I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to get back. Over here, you can swirl out. So you can swirl out her nose, as you can see right here, or swirl it out onto the left as well. I'm just going to press Ctrl Z because I don't want to do that. You can also go around onto the restore side. So if you were to go around, then it restores uh, um, that out. So you can go around enlarge. So let me just go around enlarge her eyes. Or if I want to restore this, you can see that it goes back onto the default mode, just like this. So you can just work around with those over here. So I'm just going to swirl this on to, let's say, for example, onto the left right here, arrange out her nose upright, just like this. And maybe I want to enlarge out her eyes right here. Or maybe I want to work around with her lips right here. And similarly, you can go around and then make small changes right here and then make her nose small and just like this. So I can pull out her hair right here. You can pull out her hair right here as well and pull out her hair over here as well. So just like this, you can go around and then adjust these things around. So over here, you can also work around with the strength. So you can really increase out the strength or you can decrease out the strength right here to make subtle changes. And then you can work around with the density over here as well. And you can also go for a high quality preview if you want to. So if your system support it's, uh, supports it, then you can go for a high quality preview as well. And that is how you can work around with the liquify tool inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.